Good morning, miners, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Remote Miner Morning TV. Today is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. Today we'll be looking at a video with Miss Ludlow, an informational p- uh, video with ASB about pumpkins, and chilling with Dylan. But before we start, I'm Catherine. And I'm Christiane, and Remote Miner Morning TV starts right now. Placerita is famous for its Lego robotics program. Ms. Reed and Mr. Cass are looking for students that are interested in becoming a part of this year's competition team. If you are interested, please join their robotics Google Classroom using the code 4K7SH2A. Sign up by this Friday because that's its due date. Hope to see you there! The yearbook photo extravaganza has ex- has started. Check the Minor Pride Google Classroom classwork section and look for the different posts under the yearbook topic. Each topic is a different request. You can fill out one, two, all of them, or none of them. The more you participate, the better your chances are at winning the grand prize of AirPods. Make sure you follow the photo rules. Read about it in Google Classroom posts. This is only the start. You will notice that there are six or seven requests for photos so far, but every week the yearbook will be asking for more. They will be asking for all sorts of things. So if you don't like these topics, keep checking back for more photo submission opportunities. This week, yearbook is asking photos and information for your thoughts about COVID, your mask wearing fashion, things that were hard to find in stores, Halloween costumes, pumpkins, and treats you bake. Fun moments. And random activities and smiles. Don't be afraid to participate and let's make a great yearbook. Now, over to Miss Ludlow with some library information. Good morning, students. It's Mrs. Ludlow, and I'm here with two announcements for you. First of all, the online book fair is still happening. You can shop between now and Sunday evening on November 1st. Um, I know that your English teachers gave you the link to the book fair in their classroom streams, so go ahead and check it out. You might find a good book to read. And second, last week we had our drive through events for both 7th and 8th graders. Eighth graders, if you did not return peak, I need you to bring it to the office, the front office, between one and three, flex time this week. And seventh graders, if you did not return color in my words, you need to bring that back as well. In addition, seventh graders, if you did not get your next novel, it is waiting for you in the office. The book has been checked out to you and has your name on it, so it should be easy to find. Okay, you guys, have a great week. Bye. Thanks, Miss Ludlow. I was just informed that ASB has a spooky announcement. Take it away. Your parents tell you not to play with knives, but they are always the first to hand you one every fall. Hey, Placerita, I'm here to talk about the upcoming pumpkin carving contest. We want you to carve the most amazing pumpkin you can and fill out and submit it on the Google forum opening up this Friday in the Minor Pride Room. You can choose what category to enter your pumpkin into and see if your pumpkin is really the scariest, funniest, or best of all the pumpkins. Oh, did I mention that if you win in any of these categories, your name will be shown on Minor Morning TV? Well, get carving, Reiners. The deadline will be here in a snap. Thanks, ASB Miners. I know what you're thinking right now. Oh. On an, another KidFlix advertisement. Well, guess what? You're correct, but hold on and listen to this. KidFlix is a program where you get to learn about teamwork building, 
working together, and having fun. People who have been in this program have gone on to do actual TV shows. Isn't that great? It is, but that's not the only great thing. Are you saying that there's even more you can experience? I am indeed. Kidflix is an award-winning production group, and we are always looking for new people. They have jobs like anchoring, editing, or even doing your own segment. Now, since we've convinced you, you are welcome to join. We have meetings every Monday at 3 o'clock. Our class code is I-6-U-A-E-M-O. If you end up joining, you might be seeing yourself on this very screen that you're looking at right now. So, don't be afraid to join. You'll always feel welcomed as a part of our group. Hope to see you next Monday at 3. Chilling with Dylan is next, so let's see what's happening in sports this week. Thank you, and welcome back to Chilling with Dylan. Baseball and football are our topics today. Baseball is still in the World Series. The Los Angeles Dodgers are currently beating the Tampa Bay Rays for a series score of 3-2. to two. The Dodgers just have to win one more game, and then they'll win the World Series. Game 6 starts tonight at 5 p.m., so you can watch this game on Fox. Don't forget to root for the Dodgers to win. Football is now in the seventh week, and the Rams are flying high. They are doing super well in the NFC West, and they are not slowing down. The offense is locked in, and so is the defense. Way to go, Rams. The Chargers have had many hiccups, though. In week two, they lost their starting quarterback, and the Chargers haven't been able to get back on that same track since then. No matter what, they are an L.A. team, so go Rams and go Chargers. That's it for this week. Now back to the hosts. Go Dodgers indeed. Every day at Placerito is a holiday, and today is National Black Cat Day. What's a black cat's favorite song? Three Blind Mice. That's all from us, recorded inside our homes in Southern California during quarantine. I'm Catherine. I'm Christiane. Have a terrifying Tuesday, Miners.